welcome to NCTC's Home Improvement and Design segment. I am your host, Chrissy Jenkins. Today, we're going to be talking about how to make a cotton wreath. I've had several people ask me, hey, why don't you show us how to make a cotton wreath with your cotton? I said, okay, I'll try it. So what we're gonna need to finish this project is a wire wreath. You can buy these at Hobby Lobby. Almost everything that I have purchased here today has came from Hobby Lobby for under 20 bucks. You'll need these pink baby pony, like Barbie roses or something like that. I'm not for sure what they're called, but I love them. Any color pink that is this baby pink, I call it like a Barbie pink. I really, really love these roses. And then also I like the fresh greenery. It's not fresh, but you know what I mean. And, uh, <laughs> um, and I love this greenery because we're gonna add that with the roses onto the cotton. And we need some rose trimmers. I guess that's what they're called. I call them cotton scissors. And then we need some regular scissors and we need some Barbie pink ribbon. And I got the satin ribbon because I think it's just a little bit more of the festy spring, Valentine, summer type of ribbon. And then of course we'll need some cotton and we'll also need our handy dandy glue gun. If you don't have a glue gun, you need a glue gun because this glue gun is going to save the day with the cotton that sort of like falls off from the wreath. So let's get started with our cotton wreath. And in order to make this cotton wreath sort of flow in the circle that we want it to flow in, I went ahead and I cut into the cotton bundle. And I'll show you guys how to do that in just a few minutes. But in order to save time, I went ahead and I cut some of these branches just a bit shorter so that we don't have excess stems showing from the wreath. And so what you're gonna do, and I went ahead and started one over here just for time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lay this down and you're gonna take your white floral wire and you're gonna wrap it around. And you don't have to secure it tightly just yet because we are going to come back and we're gonna tighten up all the wires in just a few moments. But let's go ahead and let's grab about five more of these cotton stems to place around the wreath. And what we're going to be doing here is we just sort of just make a circle. Like I said just a few minutes or just a few seconds ago, is we're just gonna just go around this and just take that wire. And in a few minutes, we'll also cut off the excess wire. So don't worry about all that wire showing. And we'll also trim it up just a bit too as far as the cotton stems go. We're gonna take some more stems. Keep one just going all the way around here. So, a fresh cotton wreath is so beautiful. And I'm gonna give you an idea also. You can, you can, you know, put one of these on your front door or you can put it somewhere else in the house and I'll show you guys in just a few minutes how we can do that. Also, just to festen up some more areas in your home. Get this on here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. To get this on here, to give you a finished product. So right here we have one of the uh, Creasy Jenkins bundles of cotton. And I'm gonna show you guys how I trim this up so that you don't get all flustered whenever you're trying to make your cotton wreath. So you're gonna go in here and you're going to cut you may have to just cut one at a time. There we go, we got it. That one was being stubborn, wasn't it? So we are trimming this dude up. Take your excess stems, lay them over to the side, and then come through here and just start cutting your stems. And you don't have to make a fuss over which stems you're gonna use because trust me, when you get these dudes on the cotton wreath, it's all going to flow. So here we go. All right. And I've laid that right on top of my wire here. So let me get my wiring out, lay it over here to the side. All right. Now let's get back to business. <laughs> so let's get this lined up here. And we are going to 
strap this baby down. I'm gonna tie that around again. Twist, twist, twist. Mind you of that twister game, doesn't it? Twisting it all around and around and around. So I'm gonna cut some more. I'm gonna cut some more branches because we want it to be full. I love a beautiful full wreath. But the kicker to these homemade wreaths is getting everything to stay put because you don't want to put it on your front door and when people open up your door, the wreath falls, everything on the wreath falls and people's like, do we go in? Do we pick this up? I mean, what do we do? You, know, you, want, you want your front door to be inviting, not go away. <laughs> and if you got a wreath that's falling everywhere, they're going to be like, what is going on here? Why doesn't she have that thing strapped down? So, and that's what we're going to use the glue gun for too. It's because we're going to use the handy dandy glue gun to add some more white cotton bowls to our cotton creation that we are making. And I've already got my glue gun um, plugged up so it's nice and hot. And I'm gonna take just some of these leftover pieces of cotton bowls that are still a little bit on the stem and I'm gonna trim these up as well. And we hadn't got to the fun part yet. The fun part is going to be when we start using our uh, pink pony roses. Now that's gonna be the fun part. So what I'm gonna do here is I am just gonna put that hot glue everywhere. And I, and be careful not burn yourself. I seriously think I've had third degree burns from, <laughs> from a hot gun before. Ow, and I just did. I'm used to it. I think my skin's getting tough. I got a boo-boo on my hand where I scraped it on a cotton stem the other day. I stayed beamed up and scratched up, I feel like. All right, then we're gonna take another, I just say, just another wad of cotton bowls. You're gonna just put that hot glue on there. We're gonna add some more glue there. Not glue, but some more cotton in these empty little holes here. Put that on there. Now we are going to take our pink pony roses. We're going to start just cutting into those. We're going to just snip. I think my, my scissors here about need a good sharpening, I think. I think I've cut too many cotton stems, apparently. All right. Actually, guys, I think these are actually rose shears, or my mom would know, I don't really know. And we're gonna cut that up. All right, so let's get started. And also, you can either glue these in or you can actually stick these in into your wire and they'll actually stay pretty nice. And what I, what I have been doing with my cotton wreath is I'll take whatever excess flowers that I'm using for the wreath besides the cotton and I will put them in inside of the floral wire that we've been using. And then you just add your pretty little colors in there. You can go in there, you can trim them up. That right there. Okay, now since we have the cotton on the wreath and the uh, pink pony roses on the wreath and the greenery on the wreath, now we're going to use our pink satin ribbon and we're gonna use this ribbon and I've already cut it as well. But you can see, and I always, when I start to make any type of little bow, I usually cut the ribbon just a little bit more than what I need so that I can trim it up later because I, you know, more is less sometimes. So we will just wrap this around this wreath. We're gonna wrap it around here nicely. And then I'm going to tie it in a bow. And we're not gonna have a 
fancy bow on this one because I feel like that would take away from the cotton wreath. The pink ponies just scream, hey, look at me, look at me. And we're gonna tie it cute as a bug in a rug. Tie it around right here. Then I'm gonna show you guys an idea. Like what else could we do with this beautiful wreath? But let's trim it up just a little bit first. We'll take our scissors. We're gonna trim it. And I always trim at an angle instead of straight across. Just go in an angle like that. And now we have our cotton wreath. Look at there. And look how beautiful this cotton centerpiece turned out. What a beautiful statement. You can use this wreath on your front door or you can use it as a table centerpiece. And so let me show you how to do that. You don't have to just use your cotton wreath as a door hanger. You can also use it as a centerpiece for your dining table or your breakfast table. There's so many other possibilities with wreaths other than just on the front door or the back door. Thank you guys for joining in on our NCTC design segment today. I hope that you guys learned some interesting design tips and how to make a cotton wreath or any type of wreath. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye.